Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another Quick Tips brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in. Today's poster wanted to try to clear up this uh, photo of this mother and child. And this is the only one they could get. It looks like it's like a picture of a cell phone screen saver. So um, first, let's try to get the picture to look as good as we can then we'll try to get rid of all the other extraneous stuff so i'm going to start with just by um hitting enhance and then do auto smart fix that should help us with the color range here and let's take it even further across so let me just go back to enhance lighting brightness contrast and let's bring the contrast way up like this and then bring the light the lights down a little bit and this way we get more detail in the photo itself we can bring down the highlights up here that are just way too bright so if we once again go to lighting and go to levels and this will allow us to bring the blacks up or the light ends down so I'm going to bring the light ends down just a tad right around there we can try to smudge some of this stuff out so if we kind of rebuild the area here I brought in another nose there, oops, lessen the opacity to where it's almost not noticeable that it's an added nose. I'm going to make another layer, um, but I've got to get rid of the letters here too, so we're going to smudge that out. We basically just smudge everything into itself. If you go up and you go down, up. You go down until you get rid of it. Now with the eyeball over here, I think what I want to do, we're going to keep on smudging these colors down into place here so we don't see any of this blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this eyeball here and copy it. And I'll bring it over to this side, I'm going to lessen its opacity so I can kind of match these. Then take the eraser and do like a 50 point in erase around the edges. I can bring the opacity back up almost all the way and there we go okay so now we got the eyeball done we got to get rid of all this stuff up here maybe since they got similar skin tone we can actually grab a piece of his so I'm going to grab a portion of his forehead copy it bring it over here turn it around because she's facing the other way so go image rotate horizontally let's make it bigger now we go to filter blur Gaussian blur and we get rid of the lines we want to leave a little bit there because the original does have lines so we do here right at about 4.0 now I'm going to lessen the opacity so I can draw out what I don't want with the eraser. 300. To get rid of all this stuff here. Now I want to get rid of all the stuff I just drew. that boom and we now we bring the opacity back up and you'll see the blue stuff kind of disappear it's not perfect and we still have to work a little more with it but it's a start so now what we want to do is is I'm gonna turn that off for a second this layer and grab some of her hair to replace what's missing on the other side we're gonna copy that and then we will 
image rotate horizontal to put it on this side and just turn it to make it fit right around there. Now I can lessen the opacity so I can merge it into her natural hair with the eraser, small eraser, about uh, 75. And we start to see what it's doing here. Let's get rid of uh, some of these things over here by copying a portion. We can go copy, move it over to this side, turn it to match, grab the eraser, and there we go. I'm going to go ahead and merge that down since it looks good. And we take our eraser and do a boom, boom, boom to soften this up. Now we get rid of this by going back to the original again. Grab a portion from down here. Copy that and move it over here. Turn it over to kind of match. And that looks pretty good. And it's not perfect, but it's not bad. You know, it could be worse. We'll go ahead and copy that, bring that over to here, turn it around so it's the right angle. And luckily they have the same kind of hair, so it's easy to meld the two together. Turn on our new layer and we can bring down the opacity. Now shape his hair. Get rid of the rest. And there we go. We've got ourselves a nice photograph that's been fixed. So there we go. This is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out.